I hear my turkeys over there. They're going to come for my corn. Yeah, so anyway, I am back at the range with uh, the 5.7 and a 22 mag. And on my last video I did, there was some... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot your name. I put a picture of your comment up here. He knew a lot about the 5.7. I mean, I know a good bit. I wasn't too worried. I know that the, the federal ammo that I have for this is the worst load. And he did say about the Caltech 22 mag. I completely forgot about that. And then there was another one. But then uh, Smith West M&P. It's like the same chassis they have in 22 mag. I really want to buy it now. Uh, he said about uh, 22 mag needs like a 18 or 20 inch barrel. I kind of disagree with that because the 16 inch barrel I had, it was shooting slower consistently. But regardless, I don't really, I don't really fucking care. Uh, I'm just going to compare to... I got some blocks of wood here. These are uh, one by fours, I think. Yeah, one by fours. So I got them. I'm just gonna shoot them with. Uh, I'm gonna shoot 22 short first, and then 22 mag, the five seven, and then to compare it to like an everyday carry, uh, the old pink lady man. She's back out here. If you guys didn't see the video, I shot that 250 yards, something like that. Took about 100 shots, but actually, once I figured out where to aim, I was shooting over every time. I was getting it in there. One thing I hate about the five seven. You can't use 50 BMG brass to hold it up. Oh, and we got this guy here too. I had a bunch of these for the pond. Uh, they're, I was using them to get rid of frogs. We have the amount of bullfrogs we have around here. My God. So these are weighted. They actually sink. And uh, they actually have a UN number on them too. It says, warning, extremely dangerous for license display operators only. Which wait, he was here a second ago. I just might have taken a piss. Uh, these are 1.3 grams. So, they're really... I mean, these things are, I got them for 5 bucks for 12 of them. I bought a whole pile of them. And you want to talk about the amount of frogs that we got with these things? Whew. Yeah, we cleared a pond out with them. So, anyway, I'll put that in the water jug at the end of the video. So, make sure you stay tuned. And I'll get set up and we'll have some fun. Okay, the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to let the block taped up like that. And then I'll do 22 short, 22 mag, 5, 7, 38. Then we'll cut it apart probably. 22 short. Okay, now we'll get the 22 mag. Okay, now we got the 22 magnum. Yeah, big difference. Okay, we'll go 5, 7. Okay, never mind. She blew all the way through all the wood and both water jugs. 22 mag hmm I did not foresee that happening do I need more wood <laughs> okay well I'll try the 5.7 I guess see if it does that okay now we've got the 5.7 I'm gonna try to get a little bit lower definitely louder okay so the 5.7 it did not go through I mean, that's hard science right there. 22 mag did both of them. So we'll try the 38 special and then the firecracker. Okay, next up we got a 38 special. I think these are hollow. Yeah, got a hollow points. Don't ask me how many grain they are. <laughs> Don't know. And we'll go for about center. That was a perfect shot. Dude, this gun shoots good. Okay, did the hollow point 38 special go through? Nope. All right, let's blow these things up before we get too carried away here. See, so yeah, I totally forgot them things sink. They're supposed to, and it completely destroyed the table. And things are incredibly powerful for what I paid for them. Look at that. Did it hurt this one? It's all right. Yeah, the 1.3s are where it's at, man. All right, let's cut this open and let's just see. That's the back. All right, yeah. So, the, what was that? So this is the top, this kind of upside down. So the 22 mag went through all of them. Still not seeing a 5.7. 
Maybe here. Yeah. Five seven went through. Looked like it kind of came out the side. It went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight inches of wood, pine. And the 22 mag went through, was it eight? When I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven inches, almost a foot of pine, and then two water jugs. I'm going to might set them back up and just see if. The 38 special went through a good bit too. It's stuck right here. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six. It's hollow points. Right there. Yeah, right there's a 38. 38's no joke, man. People scoff at it. Let's see if I can dig that out. I'll set them back up and then we'll try the 5722 mag once or twice more. Yeah, 38 special. It did not open up much at all. They don't have much velocity to really. I wish you, man, there you go. Like, comment, share, subscribe so I can buy it there. So I can buy a new phone so I can focus. But yeah, 38. Maybe I'll shoot the water jug with 38 since we're right here. Oh, I forgot about that 22 cap. It's stuck in the one, two, three, the fourth board. It's stuck in there. So that's pretty good. I right, guess it back up here. Okay, 38 special coming in. Hot? Okay, <laughs> maybe 38 special ain't that good. Went through one water jug, logged right in there, the wedge right in there. Where'd you get a little bug? That's funny. But it, I'm 6'2, uh, 250 pounds. I tell you what, that would stop me. That would make me change my mind what I'm thinking. So, something to keep in mind. Okay, I got uh, three more 22 mags in here. I guess they're going through. So there's only one hole in the back. So let's see how many there are now. Okay, so all three made it through. That's the first one. Second, third, fourth. One, two, three, the last ones. All of them made it right through. I'll load up three and the five, seven, see what it does. Okay, I got three rounds of the Federal 5.7. Okay, I'm going to get some regular FN ammo. Uh, probably when I get back, but for right now, let's go. Let me reset that real quick. Okay, like I said, when I get back, I'll try to get some FN ammo. Keep turning. Just move you guys, be easier. That one might have went through. Let's check it out. Okay, I think the two went through... Because I'd say at least two went through. I think, yeah, yeah, that one, it kicked out the side. I thought that's what, first one, it kicked it. But the other two, they did go through too. So, in my opinion, we need a new, more testing on it. I have a bunch more wood. I should do that. But for now, I'm going to end off there. Uh, get some things to do. Just want to say thanks to everybody that's always tuning in, giving me comments and stuff. I love that stuff. To learning more information about the different calibers like i said i know a good bit about the every caliber but if people really get into the five seven i just wanted to i just wanted to tink, tinker with it so i'm gonna say hi to mrs mel pliskin uh annie prairie dog uh, frank and tina everybody always just says hi i always appreciate it been super busy this year and hopefully once i get back from a little trip uh I'm gonna try to do some more shooting. I gotta <laughs> gotta fix my truck and uh, a bunch of little other things I need to do, and I need to clear out a little bit more of a range too, because they're working on the windmills up there, and at the moment we can't get up there. So I mean, I can shoot my 50 BMG here. It's just a little a little close, <laughs> you know. It's like my house is like right there, but uh, I mean, it's still got a good 50 yards, 69 yards, 69 feet. But, I don't know, some things to do in the near future, hopefully. But, uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.